Hi guys, we're here and welcome to the workshop. Today it's quite crowded here, but still I want to talk about quite a controversial subject and it's my pump. So around one and a half year ago when I bought it, uh, it caused quite a stir in the comments because arguably this is not something that a regular person would buy. And in fact, I was actually doubting myself uh, if this was really necessary or whether it was a good investment or not. So in case you don't know this product, uh, this is a Silka uh, Super Pista Ultimate, which uh, is basically the Bugatti of floor pumps. It costs around 500 euros and I also have upgraded it with the Hero locking chuck which adds another around 100 euros to the standard version. So yeah you might say that's that's just ridiculous for a pump and uh, to be honest it is but from one and a half years uh, of long term use, quite intensive use as you know. <clears throat> I run a workshop as well, so I inflate a lot of bike tars, sometimes 20, 30 per day. And uh, yeah, so was it really worth it? In short, absolutely yes. It's worth every, every cent, uh, basically from my experience. So let me just talk through it. Uh, so let's, let's start at the bottom. So the base is a very heavy uh, cast, it's some kind of steel alloy, alloy I don't exactly know what uh, type, but it's very heavy, it has a triangulated shape, so super stable, in fact uh, I used to leave it uh, in the back of the car standing up and yeah, it just uh, stayed like that while driving so super stable no problem when inflating off-road on tiles anything it has nice uh, grippy feet uh, not a slight the slightest sign of wear despite uh, carrying this uh, to every race basically I do no damage at all so very very stable design then if you look at uh, this upper part here this is actually where the connections happen so in this part is a very strong magnet that holds your uh, chuck in place then here's the brass uh, bit that connects uh, the hose and the pressure gauge itself as for the pressure gauge, very nice, easy to read, very precise. Uh, it should have 1% accuracy for at least two years. Uh, well, I have no way to measure that, but from trying different pressures on even very low pressures on a cross bike, mountain bike, to very high pressures on some uh, coarse speed tubulars that I've used last year. I can testify that it's very easy to adjust your pressure, it seems to be quite consistent. Then you have the host attachment here, this all rotates, so it's easy to use. Very sturdy hose as well, not just a rubber bit, but the same stuff you'll find on race car and race uh, bike, or I mean motorcycle brake lines, so very, very sturdy indeed. Then an all steel uh, basically shaft or yeah all steel body. Actually the whole construction is, is fully metal so no plastic parts to wear out. And the internals uh, are very similar to a suspension fork as well if you just look at it. You can unscrew this little bit. Uh, it uses these not quite standard uh, pinned tool uh, attachments, but 
I have a tool like that in the motorcycle tool wall, so that's not an issue. Although it, it can be done up by hand, it's not really important to be done up tight. I just want to show you the internals now and how they look. The thread is quite long. So this again is a full metal part. Just a little bit more. Yeah, so this is how pressure is actually generated. So, yeah, a replaceable leather washer and a Teflon or ceramic, some special coating on the bushing there. So pretty much same as a suspension fork. The inner shaft is all steel as well, pretty heavy and highly polished. Actually, this is the only part that shows wear. As you can see, it's picking up the aluminum from the lock nut. But I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's affecting the function in any way. Yeah, so if I just screw that back up, uh, the top and the handle of the pump or cast uh, steel, nice little logo on here, and a nice wood handle. So very high quality construction super durable as you can see after I would say well hundreds and hundreds of inflated tires no wear at all and even well the only wearing part is the leather washer I've shown you that's uh, easily replaceable and the whole operation of the pump uh, is extremely smooth uh, because of of the all metal construction super high tolerances and the bushing so I had zero times when I just couldn't inflate the tire couldn't go to a higher pressure or the chuck would pop off that's actually a very important part of the whole pump as well probably most important so let me just illustrate how how smooth the internals are of the pump yeah you leave it like there and it's its own weight just push it against that if you want to have a pump with rubber and plastic internals that just not going to happen you know yeah so that's how smooth this thing is uh, and also there's no play at all between the two shafts so very nice pumping action then if you look at the business end uh, of the hose it's actually very very long compared to other pumps it's more than a meter long if you look at it so that just uh, makes for easy use as well the other end is swiveling as well and has a shredder, a shredder uh, thread to it so you can inflate shredder valves so sometimes we use it on motorbikes, in the cars, because it uh, has a very, very large volume. So you can pipe, pump, uh, sorry, quite a lot. Yeah, nice gasket in there as well. So it works as a shredder, and into that you can thread different chucks from Silka. So the pump, at least when I bought it, now I think it comes with the Hero. But back then it came uh, with the kind of a bell shape plug on chuck which works great for most wheels uh, although it's not locking it's self locking due to the design of the of the gasket but I usually have at least one disc wheel so this is a more of a universal choice for me because that doesn't fit the disc wheel and it's quite small again all steel construction uh, and yeah you can basically inflate any tire to any pressure alone because it just locks into place like this one and you can adjust the preload of the gasket it's a very very special elastomer gasket not just some plain old rubber here you can see it's the red little thingy in there and as I said, you can adjust the preload by just tightening this 
uh, this knot here that holds it in place. Although in my experience I have it in a very, very low tension setting because it's just extremely grippy and no matter what type of valve you have, threaded, not threaded, tubular, removable, not removable, very short, very long, it just doesn't seem to leak at any point. So it's a very, very reliable solution. Actually, I've had this truck for more than a pump. It's more like two and a half years now. I've used it on a different pump before, but it's it's not even as expensive now because, well, this one was still made from stainless steel. Now there's a carbon steel option which costs half as much. So if you're looking to upgrade your existing pump, then this is definitely a top choice, particularly if you have uh, disc wheels. The only wheel that I wasn't able to inflate uh, with this one is, or was rather, well, my Vision Metron tri-spoke because that has a very uh, narrow design and the pocket at the valve is very shallow so this one just didn't fit so I had to use Silka's own aluminum disc ch chuck which is basically half the size of this but it's not locking although it does lock itself due to the pressure and due to the design of the gasket so wasn't a big deal but still I prefer to use this one and looks uh, wise it's perfectly matched uh, to the to the super pista pump so yeah that's basically most features of this super pista pump covered and to sum it up this way if you want uh, a reliable and long lasting solution uh, to inflate your bike tires uh, then this is basically the last pump you will ever need to buy I think because at the rate that I use it I think a regular pump would wear out in two or three years and the high quality plastic pump still costs around I don't know 50 60 euros at least so if you spread it out to a couple of seasons of intense use I think this is definitely uh, going to make the money stretch quite a bit and yeah at the same time you still have the super high precision and all this very nice finish uh, to look at and, and just it's a pleasure to use really so it's not an ev not everyone's item but yeah I can I can only rec recommend that if you're looking looking at buying this so thumbs up for for this pump now if you want to know more about the actual bikes that I use then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe it's off today thanks for watching and see you next time